Yep, it's really bright. <laughs> Welcome to day six of Vlogmas. Um, I'm kind of out of breath right now. I found out a good way for me to work out because we don't have a gym anywhere near me. We have stairs in this apartment that I'm in. So I just go up and down the stairs. Because of my chronic illness, I have a higher heart rate than normal people, so I can't like go rut on a run. Like that's, I can't work out that way. And going on a walk just isn't enough for me. I love going on walks, but they're just not enough for me. I don't feel the motivation to. I feel like this method that I have is a huge motivation for me. There are stairs right here and it goes up that way too. And then right at the end of the stairs, we have this little, can you even see that? Probably not. Anyway, this little balcony right here. Sorry, the sun flare. You can see Steph from Steph's Roommates Book Talk on the laptop right there so what I do that I found really effective is I'll put on my booktube watch later playlist so I was currently watching stuff I'll go up and then down the stairs and every time I come because I need a little break in between going up and down because my heart rate will just get way too high like if I do two in a row and I don't take a breather for myself like my heart rate gets up to like 170 going back up the stairs the second time so I have to take a break like once I come back down the stairs so if it's at night and I need to clean my room each time I come down the stairs I put something away and then I go back up the stairs come back down put another item away and so what I've been doing today is I need to film my November wrap-up and so uh, I have my journal next to my laptop and I have, I'm watching Steph. And in my other tab, I have my Goodreads where I have all the list of the books I've read in um, November. And so um, each time I come down the stairs, I write a new um, book on my November wrap up list. I write them down in order of my least favorite to favorite so that I know which books to talk about in my wrap up because I go from least favorite to favorite. Every time I come back down the stairs, I write a new book go back up the stairs, go back down, look at my list, write the next one. <laughs> so um, it gets your heart rate going. It does. It gets a good workout. I just burned 215 calories doing it for 30 minutes. So pretty great to me. I'm probably going to do it again when I put together my November ebook haul list because that needs to happen too. Gonna, but I'm going to take a break right now. I'm going to go eat breakfast. And so yeah, last night I finished two little cards here. We have crystals and then we have Hannah's. So I am going to be sending them very soon. Like I'm going to be putting them in the mail. So expect them very soon. Um, and I plan to work on a bunch today. I want to get them done. These were actually like so much fun to do. I'm just worried that I won't get them done in time for everyone to get them before Christmas. And so if you don't get yours before Christmas, I am very sorry. This was honestly so much fun. I'm kind of worried that nobody will like them or they'll just throw them away because like, I don't know, they're not like that good. And I don't even know what you'd use them for. I'm kind of feel like dumb now. Um, hopefully people like them. I don't know. Last night when I was doing my workout, I had a list of books I needed to put in a book haul. And so I had a list in my notebook and every time I went down the stairs, I looked at my shelves and figured out, ooh, which one do I need to put on my next book haul? Wrote in the list, went back upstairs. So it kicks your butt, but you know what? I'm trying to get a bigger butt. So it's gonna help me. <laughs> I don't like doing like stationary workouts, you know, like where, oh, you're laying on the ground and doing sit-ups all the time or just doing squats for 30 minutes. I can't do that. That's so boring. Um, so anyway, enough about me working out. I forgot to also update you that I did finish Blitz and Spade and Mate this morning when I woke up. I think I'm just gonna give it three stars. It was really fun, it was fun. Um, if you're looking for just a fun, lighthearted read, this one's the way to go, like zero seriousness. It's not like that funny. I found it funny because of like the story in general. But, like there's no like one-liners or funny comments or anything. I just thought it was a fun, cute, quick, not so serious romance read. So if you're wanting to read that, go ahead. I think there's like, five other books in the series out too or more each about a different reindeer so <laughs> i am also 40 percent of the way through fire and his embrace i think that's the title i'm really enjoying that one i like this one way more than the second one the second one just i don't think is my cup of tea
Okay, I just finished Nicole's present. So Nicole, yours is gonna be sent in the mail today also. I have to package this up and then address them and then get that put in the mail for her. But I also wanted to update you that I have um, three hours left of Fire in His Embrace. Really enjoying it. This series, I like it, but it's just not as good as the Ice Point of Barbarians to me, if that makes sense. Um, maybe some other people feel that way too. I don't know. I also started another book. It's about an alien and Christmas. Here's the title. Something about an alien Christmas. Someone was talking about this book. I forget who. Maybe it was, it was either Kayla or it was Desi or it was somebody. Somebody who reads alien romances like I do. I saw this um, on their channel. Had to download it because it involves alien and Christmas and it got pretty good ratings from them. So, oh, it's a nanny also, an alien nanny. Yeah, um, I'm only in like on chapter three, like 5% in. It's fun so far. I really want to know what happens because that seems like really fun, like an alien nanny at Christmas time. But look at my view, you guys. Like this is what I'm talking about when I say I feel like a Cullen. Look, look at my room. This is the like front door right there. Sorry for the mess. Um, but this was supposed to be a living room, but it's not my bedroom. And look at that. I feel like a Cullen. I just have windows everywhere and Willow is staring at me. Hi Willow, how you doing? Doing good? Say hi Willow. Hi Katniss. It gets really, really bright in here and I really like it. Now I'm all out of um, Instagram pictures to post so I have to go take some more. I think I might just take like a couple pictures while listening to my audiobook after I send off Nicole's present. That's what we're gonna do because I haven't posted my Instagram picture for the day and that needs to happen. Okay, so a little change in plans. So for taking pictures today, I'm actually going to be walking to our neighborhood lake because we have a little neighborhood lake and little sitting area and it's really cute. So I'm gonna show you. Hi guys, I'm currently in the little lake pond area. It's really sunny. I wanted to take some cute pictures, but it, I think I'm at the wrong the wrong time of day um for ones with me and them at least like the book ones have turned out great but it's really pretty like there's a little lake right there it's really pretty there's a bridge um i don't know if you can see it um but the bridge is broken so there's a little island if you can see in the center of the lake but you can't get to it because the bridge is broken so yeah the lighting over here stinks because of the sun so I wanted to take some cute like sit down pictures of me and I can't because of the sun. Yep, it's really bright. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what to do now. I'll just walk around, yeah. Good evening, everybody. It is like 7.30 at night and I have to do some dishes. So I thought while I do some dishes that y'all could watch uh, me doing the dishes, but also watching booktube. So I like to watch some booktube while I do my dishes. Something I used to do early in my YouTube channel career is during my reading vlogs, if I was watching booktube, I would do a time-lapse montage of the people I was watching so y'all could watch creators that I was also watching. Um, so I recommend every single one of the people whose videos you watch today, I don't know who <laughs> we're gonna be watching today. Not, I don't know yet. Um, but obviously if I'm subscribed to them and I watch them, I obviously like them. I don't watch people's videos who I don't like, you know? So I recommend all these people and I hope that y'all check them out.
y'all this is gonna be my last update for the night i ended up finishing one book while i was doing another christmas card i've just finished jessica's so jessica's will be in the mail tomorrow i ended up finishing fire and his embrace by ruby dixon again another dragon shifter book i've already read this one before and i think i'm gonna just give it the same rating i think it's either a 3.5 or a 4 i don't remember i'll have to go look at my goodreads but I really enjoyed it the second time around. I feel like rereading these books is really gonna give me the, the information and enough background knowledge to continue on with the series because that's what I, that's what my goal was to read the rest of the series because I've only read up to book four and book four is what I'm currently reading which is Fire and His Fury by Ruby Dixon. This one is probably my favorite out of the bunch and this one is like Rapunzel-esque. So our heroine in this book is actually the sister to the heroine from book one. So the girl from book one is already mated and everything, has her dragon mate. And so she has her sister Amy who is our heroine in this one and she has um, kept Amy secluded and safe in her um, little building that she's in that her and her mate have claimed and has secluded her in kind of this no win windowless room so no other dragons can smell her because if they smell her they can attack and like challenge to be her mate or whatever so they're trying to keep her safe but amy wants a mate she wants to feel loved and so um she may or may not do something to have a dragon come to her little building <laughs> and try and rescue and save her he was crying so we're gonna be holding him um <laughs> i really enjoyed this one the first time that i read it um so i can't wait to continue on with it hopefully i'll finish another card before bed tonight if not that's okay that's what i'm going to be doing i did another stair workout um like an hour ago what do you smell? <laughs> and I'm um, gonna watch some booktube while doing that. Um, so, yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna leave it off for the end of the night. Say goodnight, Ollie. Say goodnight. <laughs> Anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye. Say bye.